You may have noticed in previous videos of mine that my 24 Road Glide did not have a phone mount. I got contacted about a week ago from a company that said, hey, we send you a phone mount. Will you do a review of it? Been looking for one, so I might as well test theirs out. So stick around. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time. As mentioned in kind of that little intro, uh, when I got my 24 Road Glide, I did not transfer the phone mount that I was using on the Road King Special over to that bike. M my thought was, I've got a glove box, that's where the phone plugs in anyway, why not just drop it down in there and leave it there all the time. After riding the bike for several months now, uh, I've realized that dropping it in the glove box is a little problematic. If for no other reason, I consistently forget that it's on the motorcycle when I get someplace and stop. Just this past week, like a week ago, I got contacted by a company that wanted to send me a phone mount and have me, you know, kind of unbox it, tell you guys about it and review it. That's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm literally gonna unbox it in this video so that I can, so you can get my initial impressions and what I think about it. I will say this, the whole reason I agreed to do it is because it is one of those type that grab your phone. Uh, that's what I prefer. Let's get to unboxing it and I'll let you know my initial thoughts. Might even put it on the bike today, show you how to install it, and maybe even go for a ride and let you know my initial impressions with it on the bike and using it. The one that was sent to me, I'll let you see it, it's right here. The Kongeeker K1 cycling cell phone holder. It's supposed to work on motorcycles as well, so let's, uh, Let's open it up. This is the mount itself. It is uh, dampening, so it has like little rubber mounts in there. Then we also have, comes with a set of Allens. It comes with this. So it's got that piece, it's got this piece. Just kind of line them up like that. There are several rings in here for different diameter bars. I believe I'm gonna end up either using this one or this one. I've seen some of these that get mounted like on the mirror stem. That's what this one is for. Uh, I don't like that idea too much, uh, mainly because of how the controls are on my bike. It's gonna be difficult to have it kind of up there. It's gonna be in the way, I think. I need to have it down on the bars. That's what comes in the box. I'm gonna read through the instructions, go check it out and see how I wanna put it on the bike, and then I'll be, I'll be back. I spent some time like looking at the instructions, figuring out what I was gonna do, figuring out how I was gonna mount it on my bike and where I was gonna mount it, you know, whether I wanted it right side up or upside down, you'll see in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna point out everything you need to know when you're putting this on your motorcycle if you decide to get one. So, but I, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. it it's pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty simple. So let me, let me kind of show you what's going on here. So this mounts, uh, I used the, I didn't even use the next to largest ring for this, for my thrashing bars. Uh, it covers it all the way around. There is a T25 screw on this side that you use to tighten this vise up. And they send you, they send you three different size screws, three different lengths. So depending on your bar, you know, you've got options for the length of screw you needed. I thought I was gonna need the longest length and I, I couldn't get it tight enough. So I switched back to the length that came stock in the, or that came already loaded in that clamp. Shouldn't be a problem. I will say this, uh, this is not gonna fit on the stock diameter handlebars. So if what you have is a handlebar that is at least the diameter of stock or bigger, you're gonna need kind of one of those U clamps, the ones that you know, have a curved part on one side and then two bolts at the top and you, you kind of ratchet them together. You're gonna need one of those with a ball on the end of it, like this guy right here, with a ball on the end so that you can use this configuration. I know on Amazon, and I'll put the link for this product in the, uh, in the description of this video. No, I don't get any money for this. But uh, I know if you go there, there are other options, and some of those other options, at least one of them, I saw that, that U clamp. 
uh, with the two bolts. So you can buy it that way without having to buy the clamp separately. If you already have one, I'm pretty certain I could use the one that I was using for my Insta360 mount on my Road King Special. That's a U-clamp and I'm pretty sure I could use it in place of this one if I was doing it on a wider diameter bar. I also put mine pretty close to the switch housing up here, mainly because uh, I didn't want to deal with it down here. I thought it was going to be too much in my field of vision. I didn't want that and it's sort of, it's out of the way here for the controls. So I just figured I'd sort of mount it exactly how the phone was mounted on my Road King Special. Uh, just on the opposite side of the bike because on that one it was on the clutch side once you get this position where you want it and tighten it down This is a very simple device to use it has let me go on the other side It is spring-loaded in here. So as you loosen it these things push apart It makes it simpler to slip over the balls on each end you put them in you decide where you want it You position it how you want it. I used this wing nut here to get it snug but not tight and then i use the provided allen wrench in that hole right there to tighten the whole thing down leaving this where it was once i got this tight as tight as i wanted it this is still what you would use to loosen it pretty cool design i was impressed with that it also comes the kit comes with a the uh the Allen head that you need to set this so that you can set that safety clamp. That's what this is, by the way, this is the safety clamp. Once I've got the phone tightened in there, you lock this down, that keeps that wheel from turning and backing out while you're riding down the road from vibration and such. There's an Allen key provided in the, in the package with this that allows you to set these as well. So you can, you can see there's a little groove in there. You can move them down or up just to change the depth of this if you need to. I found that the way it came set, you know, from the manufacturer was fine for my phone. Once you get it all locked down on the other side of, you know, as part of this assembly here, there is a set screw right there. Tighten that thing up. Once you tighten this up with the provided Allen key, that prevents this bolt here and this wing nut from backing out. So it, it's secured to your bike once you get that set screw locked. So, you know, it's just a bunch of little things about this that are kind of convenient and were well thought out, I guess is a good way to put it. I think I'm gonna throw the helmet on and go for a ride just to see how I like it. Let you guys see it on the bike. Let's let you see how this sits from a riding position. That's where it's gonna be in your line of sight. And uh, right now I've got, the, I've got the camera basically right at my nose. This is what I'm gonna see when I'm riding. And so it's here, I can see it, but it's not like obscuring my screen. I did not like it rotated the other way where the phone was way up here. I just didn't like that. I kind of wanted it at least below the windshield. The Kongeeker K1 motorcycle phone mount. As you just saw, the installation's done on the phone mount and this is her on the bike. Uh, I do like where it's at, I, I honestly do. I appreciate where it is on the motorcycle. Uh, it's easy to get to with either hand. I don't have to reach for it. I can see stuff on my dash still, as hopefully you can see with the camera angle that I have right now. This is not gonna be a long review. It's not. Uh, all I'm gonna do is give a short little ride I'll be doing a follow-up video on this one, in other words, that, that gives y'all a more detailed review of this product and what I think of it. I will say this, my initial impressions of it, this product is well thought out. I like the amount of adjustability that it has. It, it, it really is. I mean, it's, it was well engineered in terms of the way, you know, the things you would want in a phone mount for your motorcycle. It was well thought out. Uh, and it's easy to install. I will say this, some of the previous ones that I've had, they mounted using the, the set screws on the clamshell. Basically, they gave you longer screws and you bolted them in there. So it, it put it in a, in a different spot, but I was able to recreate where I would want the phone by using that clamp that they had. Everything used to affix the mount to the bike is aluminum. And I like that. 
it, it, there's nothing that's going to break if you over tighten it. That's a positive for it that I'll give it right out the gate. From an installation perspective, I give it a, let's call it 8 out of 10. From how well it's thought out, how well it's engineered, the adjustability that they give you, I'm going to give it about a 9 out of 10 because it is really well thought out. And it's not just a simple, oh, we're just going to do that and be done with it. From an overall, like, how I feel about it initial impressions perspective, I think I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 so far. It's going to have to really show me something in terms of how well it performs over time because there is one thing that I dislike about it. That's the fact that they've got bright colors on it. I, I wish they gave you the option of having one that was all blacked out. It sticks out, it doesn't blend in with the motorcycle. When you walk through a parking lot and look at this bike, you are going to see the phone mount. And I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, I like stuff to be more, you know, just kind of subdued and look like it's blended in. That's the only reason I'm giving it a seven and a half out of 10 instead of taking it all the way up to like an eight and a half out of 10 at this point. If you're curious, I think this mount, this particular one is about 50 bucks maybe on Amazon. It did get to me relatively quickly when they, you know, once I, once I agreed to do a video for them, they shipped it out and they got here pretty quick, a couple days. I told y'all I might go for a little ride. Why not? It's almost 70 degrees here and it's Thanksgiving week. Why not get out and have a little scoot before dinner? I figured it'd give me a chance to, you know, stick the phone in there and see how it works when I'm banging it around on the back roads that I normally run around on. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. I know I've got a lot to be grateful for this year, and uh, you watching this video is one of those things I have to be grateful for. So I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. If you're watching this after Thanksgiving week in the U.S., I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new content, and share it with your friends. All that stuff is free to you, and it does help the channel. As always, ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>